In this lecture, we are going to learn about some of the string handling functions available in the header file string.h. So there is this header file called as string.h, which has various string handling functions. In this lecture, we are going to focus on learning four important string handling functions available in string.h header file. Okay, so the name of the first function is string length. So the function name is strlen. It takes one parameter a string as the argument okay so what does this function do is it is very simple it will find the length of that particular string so it will find the length of the string str okay string length function the first one the second one is a string copy function a string copy is very simple it takes two arguments it will take two string as an input so the first string is str1 second string is str2 and the name of the function is str string cpy stands for copy string copy str cpy okay it is going to copy the string str2 into the string str1 so str2 would be my source and it will be stored in the destination that is the str1 that is str1 would be the copy of str2 this is a string copy and there is one more the third very important function called as a string concatenation concatenation means joining right joining two strings together is called as concatenation so in this case you have the function name as str stands for string cat stands for concatenation catenation concatenation okay so in this case there are two parameters str1 and str2 right so str2 will be joined in the string str1 so there is string str1 str2 would be appended to this string str1 at the end okay so that is you are joining str1 and str2 together and storing back the result in str1 okay this is a string concatenation also known as joining of two strings okay and the final one is a string comparison when you are trying to compare two strings str1 and str2 you are trying to see whether they are equal whether the first one is less than the second one or whether the first one is more than the second one so this is called as a string comparison str cmp is the name of the function so now we are going to write a program to demonstrate all these four string handling functions available in string .s. so i'll have to have this header file included here has include string .s in line number 17 okay and line number 21 and 20 i've taken two strings str1 and str2 str1 is having the string hello str2 is having the string world and str3 is one more character array which is having the size of 20 okay now let's try to find the length of the string let's try to find the length of the string one so to store the length i'll have to have this variable len wherein i'm going to store the length of the string the length is an integer number so i'll write len my length would be how much i'll call this function called as str alien for finding the length str alien this is the function available in string dot h and i'll have to give the string here right so i'm trying to find the length of string str1 so i just write the name of the string no need to give this size of the string here i just write the name of the string so this is going to find the length of the string and store the length in the variable alien so here i'll just print like i'll write printf length of str1 is percentage d because length is an integer number right i'll just write len here after comma okay so this is going to find the length of the first string so let's try to compile this code and then run this and see what happens okay you see length of str1 is 5 okay so str1 is hello right so h e l l o so there are five characters it is not going to count the null character remember that length will not calculate the null character all the characters excluding the null character would be your length so in this case the length is five okay so this is how the length works now let's try to demonstrate this string copy function so name of the function is str c p y string copy okay string copy function now it will take two arguments the first is string s1 and the second is string s2 so s2 would be copied to the string s1 okay so let me try to copy string 2 to string 3 so what do i do is very simple I just write str c p y i'm trying to copy i'm trying to copy what i'm trying to copy string 2 to string 3 so i'll just str3 this is my destination this is where i'm going to copy what am i going to copy as a string 2 i'll just write str2 okay so now if i print because initially str3 there was some garbage string there's nothing stored there right so now str3 should have the copy of str2 str2 is copied to str3 so let me try to print both these strings and check okay so string 
2 is let's say percentage s format specifier I'll print a new line and then i'll just write str2 this is my string 2 let me make a copy of this and try to print the third string as well okay so i'll just write enter and then this is my uh, printf statement to print this string 3 so i'll just write a string 3 is equals to str3 okay str3 so let's try to compile this code and see what happens compilation is successful clear the screen and then let's run it see string 2 is world string 2 is world there's no problem in this but string 3 is also world because now string 3 is, is nothing but the copy of string 2 so how do you copy string 2 to string 3 so i'll just write strcpy str3 this is my destination and str2 is my source so this source string is copied to the destination string str3 and now after you print the value you see that str3 is same as the str2 that means str2 is copied to str3 or we say that str3 is a copy of str2 so string copy is very simple right strcpy cpy stands for copy okay so this is fine so now let's try to demonstrate a string concatenation concatenation is nothing but joining let me join a string s3 to a string s1 okay so let me join so let me write it down here as a comment okay join string s3 or str3 to str1 okay so i'll just write str cat concatenation what i'm trying to concatenate is i'm trying to concatenate s3 to or string 3 to string 1 so i'll write a string 1 first here comma str3 okay so this is trying to concatenate str3 so it will join the string 3 to string 1 now if you're trying to print string 1 and string 3 let's see what happens let me just go here and let me print my string 2 or string 1 string 1 is the concatenated string string 1 is str1 and string 3 is str3 now let me compile this code and see what is the output for this particular statement compilation is done and you run this code you see string 1 now string 1 after concatenation because now a string 3 is joined to string 1 initially string 1 was hello string 3 was world right so world is now appended at the very end of the string 1 now world is appended after hello so string one becomes hello and then world is appended here so this is hello world so string one is hello world and string three is not changed string three is as it is that is world okay so this is string concatenation right so i hope this is clear now finally let's talk about the string comparison function strcmp right for that let me try to first of all comment all these lines of codes okay so initially i have two strings str1 and str2 let's assume that str1 is hello str2 is world so let me try to compare these two strings together okay so let me just copy these two strings together and then put it here at the string comparison part okay here okay it will be easier for us to demonstrate and observe what are the changes right so now let me try to compare these two strings str str1 and str2 okay so whenever i do the comparison i'll have to use this function strcmp the first string is str1 and the second string is str2 that means i'm trying to compare these two strings after the comparison is done it will send me one number to me okay so i'll store that number in the variable answer so i'll write int ens equals to strcmp str1 str2 right now now if this answer is equals to equals to zero that means we say that both these strings are same whenever both these strings are exactly the same it is going to return you the number zero integer number zero right so whenever you receive the answer to be zero that means that both these strings are same so i'll just write printf okay same string okay quite simple now else sometimes it can send you a negative number so else if if answer is less than zero that means if you get the negative output that means the answer is less than zero or negative number then you say that the first string is less than the second string right so i'll say str1 is less than str2 okay this is what you say and finally in the else part we'll come to the else part only if the first string is more than the second string so whenever the answer is positive we come to this part okay so if the answer is positive we can write the printf saying that str1 is more than str2 okay so what is what do you mean by less than and more than how a string can be less than the other another string or how a string can be more than the another string so just try to understand that whenever i say less than str2 str1 is less than str2 that means in a dictionary 
right? STR1 comes before STR2 in the alphabetical order. Okay. Similarly, whenever I say STR1 is more than STR2, that means in a dictionary, in the alphabetical order, STR1 comes after STR2. Okay, that is more than. Let's try to compile this code and see. So here I am trying to compare hello and world. STR1 is hello and STR2 is world. Let's see what is the output. Compile this code and then run this. So you say STR1 is less than STR2. So this is executed. STR1 is less than STR2. That means STR1 that is hello should come before the string world in the dictionary. And that is true. Hello comes before the word world in the dictionary okay so this is str1 is less than str2 okay now let's try to make both these strings as hello so so that we see one more kind of output here both the strings are same here so it's saying the same string whenever both the strings are same so the answer is zero so the answer is zero whenever answer is zero it will print there's the same string now let me make the first string as zebra and the second string as apple okay so zebra and apple so let me compile this code and run this so you see str1 that means zebra is more than str2 that means zebra should come after the word apple in the dictionary and that's true zebra comes after the word apple right so you say str1 is more than str2 okay so this is how string comparison works okay so in a string comparison the return type is an integer number it will return you the integer value that integer value if it is zero that means both the strings are same this is the case of the first if okay and if the answer is negative that means the first string is less than the second string right that means the first string comes before the second string in the dictionary so this is executed and in the other case the answer is positive that means the first string is more than the second string that means first string comes after the second string in the dictionary okay this is how string comparison works okay so in this uh, lecture we have learned four different string handling functions there are more string handling functions but these are most widely used string handling functions to use all these functions you should know what is the argument that these functions take and what is the return type that you have demonstrated here in this particular program right but to use all these string handling functions you'll have to have this header file string dot h included at the top of your code okay so this is how string handling function works so that's all in this lecture in our next lecture we're going to write our own version of these string handling functions now we have taken the help of str len to find the length of the string we have taken the help of str cpy to copy the string right so now what we are going to do is we are going to write our own version of string copy our own version of string length our own version of string concatenation and our own version of string comparison in our subsequent lectures so until then stay tuned